Nearly a million Muslim Rohingya live in the world's largest refugee camp in Bangladesh. As the International Court of Justice prepares to begin hearing allegations of genocide and forced deportation of the Rohingya, a new documentary uncovers testimonies of abuse and the involvement of Myanmar's government officials. The persecution has gone on for decades, but since 2017, hundreds of thousands of Rohingya were forced to flee after the military accused Rohingya rebels of terrorism. As early as 1966, the Burmese military started to see the Rohingya as a problem. Through the years, Myanmar's government has even set up special forces to deal with its Rohingya minority. Uh, British government kick a lot of go up. These problems with Muslims have existed since the British rule because they brought labor from Bangladesh. We are not migrants from Bangladesh. This is our birthplace. I was born in this house that was built in 1890. Our mosque was also built in 1890 by my great-grandfather. Through the years, Myanmar's government has even set up special forces to deal with its Rohingya minority. Nasaka was essentially the Burmese equivalent of SS. Nasaka was the executioner. This former intelligence chief says the priority was to stop people crossing into Myanmar illegally. I created Nasaka to stop people from crossing the borders. It was the right thing to do. They were migrants. Our objective was to control our border. They are guests from Bangladesh. We didn't want to accept guests. Otherwise, there would be no more Rakhines, just more and more Muslims. Now, decades later, UN investigators have warned genocide threat for Myanmar's Rohingya is greater than ever. A soldier held a gun to my head and said, what if I shoot you right now? Then he said, we have an order to kill all of you Muslims. We are invincible. All Rohingya, once their villages were burnt down, were funneled into what is now the camp complex where 120 to 140,000 Rohingya are basically imprisoned. They are concentration camps, detention camps. It's not intercommunal violence. This is the Burmese state organizing and watching over the destruction of Rohingya villages and the rounding up of hundreds of thousands of Rohingya into camps. Some Rohingya say they hid their children in graves. Others had their babies burned alive. They threw the children into the fire. They turned our heads the other way so that we wouldn't see it. We have never been soft on human rights in this country. Myanmar's military denies carrying out mass rape and murder. A lot of news about Rakhine State is fake. There's fabricated news that the military has raped women. It's not true. They raped us right there, in the paddy field. After five months, I knew he was there. I felt him growing inside. Five of us women were separated from the crowd and taken into the house. They closed the door, then they blindfolded us, and then they did whatever they wanted to do with us. Hundreds of thousands of Muslim Rohingya are waiting for justice and a chance to return home. Osama bin Javed, Al Jazeera.